Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, I can do all things through Christ. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. I know how to abase and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Philippians 4, 11 through 13. Mordecai had to convince Esther that she was a divine appointment from God himself. Her attitude was, I cannot do it. She knew the decree of the king said no one, not even the queen, was allowed to go before the king's throne uninvited. But she had a divine invitation and a divine appointment overrides human government. The call and the purpose of God overrides the laws of men. The disciples knew that when the magistrates, who were the law of the land, said, You cannot preach anymore in the name of Jesus, they knew that the divine call of God overrides the law of man. They said, It is better to obey God than man. That does not give us the license to disobey the laws of the land. It means when the laws of men are contrary to the divine call of God and his laws, we obey God and his laws. Mordecai said, in essence, I know what the decree of the king says, but you have been called by a higher king to stand between your people and their demise. As long as she felt that she could not do it, her people were in danger of being destroyed. It was only when she was confident that she could do it that her people became spared. When you think you can, it will propel you to do what you think you can. If you don't think you can, chances are you never will. If you don't think you can have a revival, you more than likely never will. If you don't think you can have victory, it is unlikely that you will. If you ever get the I think I can attitude, you will be propelled into that which you think you can. The I think I can attitude will cause you to try even though reasoning and circumstances say it's not possible. It's amazing what one person can do if they have the attitude that says I can do it. Twelve spies went in to spy out the promised land, but only two of the twelve said I can do it. They all saw the same adversities, but only two said, regardless of the adversity, we can do it. If you have the I can do it attitude, you are not going to be in the majority. It is the minority that will say, there may be giants in the land, but we can still possess it. This land is ours. You know you have the I can do it attitude when you can look at your worst case scenario and yet still say, I can do it. The I can do it attitude is not just for the young. There is no age limit when it comes to possessing the promises of God. Caleb never lost the I can do it attitude. At 90 years of age, he said, I can still possess my mountain. It is more than just saying I can. You must say, I will. I can be victorious and I will be victorious. I can have a revival and I will have a revival. If you think you can and you say you can, then you will. It will not be long until you say, I am victorious, I'm an overcomer, I'm living in the promises and the miracles of God. If you think you can and you have a determination and a willingness to do it, then you can say, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Paul had a great confidence in what he knew he could do through Christ. Everything we do must come through Christ. If we ever have that understanding, he will give us the strength to do whatever it is we desire to do. The thought of the day, when you think you can, it will propel you to do what you think you can. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Promise keeper, light in the darkness.